We deliver tickets, t-shirts, and everything you need to rock. But what you really get is so much more. FedEx Delivery. Passion. What we deliver by delivering. Hi, this is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and you are listening to No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1387. Welcome. And this is a show where I answer a question from someone about what employers really search for. Skills or a great GPA. Hope you find this helpful. And this is going to be geared toward a less experienced person, quite obviously. So with that, let's get going, okay? The question I was asked, well, let me just pack, pack and say, I worked as an executive recruiter for more than 40 years, filled more than 1,200 positions, yada, yada, yada. So the question I had for today is, what do employers search for? Technical skills or a higher GPA? I think it's a great question. Now, I want to start off by saying I interpret this as being asked by a less experienced person rather than a more experienced person. A more experienced person, it's rarely a consideration what their GPA is. Now, let's be clear. Uh, If this person you know, has the right professional skills. And I'm going to go beyond technical skills here for a second, but assuming they have the right professional skills and experiences, you know, things like the university and the GPA become the wow factor, you know, that this person was bred for success. But for the average individual who's less experienced, you know, I'm looking at this question and going, let's look at how a a firm searches for someone. Because again, well, I'll come to resumes in a second, but you know, if you're being sought, if someone is searching on a job board or on LinkedIn for you, they're doing the search based upon first the technical skill that the firm is looking for. And they're reading your profile or your resume in order to see that you have it. Then they're looking at the academics. Now, if you have academics first, you know, it's only coincidental that they're looking there. It's not going to make them go, I must call this person, because if you don't have the, the technical background, it's completely irrelevant to them. They have a need that needs to be met, and you have to have the skills and experience to meet it. And thus, the differentiator for you, after you've met that baseline of having the right skills and experiences, becomes the university and the degree. Uh, um, the university, the degree, and the GPA. So first is always technical skills or professional experience, and second becomes the university, the GPA, you know, the degree and the degree program and its reputation. I'll give you an example. A friend of mine you know, used to do recruiting for hedge funds in Chicago, and they only wanted to see people out of specific universities with specific GPAs, period. Now, that's more the exception to the rule, but it exists, so I wanted to address that. So, in answer to this question, it is always about the skill, particularly when you're less experienced. Uh, Again, it doesn't matter if we're talking about technical skills or, quote, professional experience. It always starts with that because they're searching and they're working with uh, keywords in order to find it, find you. Now, if you're submitting a resume, on the other hand, it's a little bit different because they're not searching. You, know, you can call attention to your GPA in the body of your email to which you attach your resume as part of your sales thing. So, for example, if you've got a 4 from Stanford in a particular program, you lead with that, and you talk about a year out of college uh, you know, that you've been working for, fill in the blank organization. That's different. But for average uh, Jane or Joe, it's always going to start off with skills. Uh, I'm sorry, with with skills and experience, and then secondarily go to, to GPA. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to get even more from me. First of all, visit my website www.thebiggamehunter.us. I have several thousand blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com where I've curated my information with a focus on interviewing. 
If you have a few questions, contact me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I at the end, or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, speaking with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help with a salary negotiation, my trusted advisor services, as well as scheduling me through for Magnify or for PrestoExperts.com. Like you, I don't work for free. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands of courses, not just simply mine. It is a great resource in a variety of different areas. Subscribe to my other podcast, which is called Job Search Radio. This one is number one in Apple Podcasts. Job Search Radio is number two. Subscribe to both. You will get great information seven days a week from this show, six days a week from the other. Lastly, I want to encourage you to join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 500 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're building a supportive group there to provide advice and counsel during difficult times. Again, the group on Facebook is called Career Angles. I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Be great. Congratulations. You've just been handed a huge new opportunity. Bravo. With it comes the need for new skills, skills you'll need to master in short order. Every year, Harvard Business School Executive Education helps executives like you develop the hard and soft skills it takes to succeed in new roles. This is your chance. Go. Start by going to hbs.me go. That's hbs.me go.